Here's how that lock switch works. It's this. Oh. Has a couple of ramps. So when you press it in, it inter interacts with a couple of ramps there, and that's what retracts this. They have a bunch of space. They should have made that uh, a lot larger. Here we are looking at the cell pack, trying not to shock myself. We can see the proper balancing wires going around. Soldered their terminals, except for hilariously, the blue wire was too short, so they couldn't solder it to its tab. They put it right on the little edge there. I was going to say, these output wires, a little bit thin, and let's get some more zoom in there. You can see some strands, so it wasn't stripped the best. Machine wire stripping should be perfect. There should never be a single strand broken or frayed, so they could improve on that. And this is not very big. That's going to be either 16 gauge. It looks like 16 gauge. It may be 14 gauge wire. Um, but for a big 8 amp hour ba battery pack, you're going to run into some heating issues. Overall, the spot welds, they seem to be okay. But that, once again, is something that should have been soldered. Because it's difficult to spot weld stranded wire. You've got this whole stack of loose little wires, and you're trying to spot weld them all together and then have good welding to the actual piece of sheet metal. Where you're just you're better off just using once again solder for that purpose. I was also noticing they have like these little green insulators, except for it appears that one is missing. Overall, these side panels appear to have been spot welded just fine, impulse welded or capacitor welded. Uh, it's just that the wire internal wiring could be a little bit improved. You know, it's a bit of a concern, like using it for long term with the uh, things like heat guns. So if we take a look here, it is 21700. And somewhere in that part number will indicate 4,000 milliamp hour. I don't know what LS plus LS. Oh, that's the positive side. So that's the side that has insulators, and they just are missing one there. This company is indeed, you know, getting these custom made for them because it does have Cener on the little uh, control board. We'll admit that I it's like the fact that they have a little metal switch, all metal instead of a little plastic. But overall, I still think this battery pack is a pretty reasonable deal. Uh, but the weaker internal wiring, you know, I find a little bit disappointing. So if these go on sale for like 60 bucks or something, I'd say it's a definite buy. At their normal price, 75 bucks, uh, you can get a genuine DeWalt 8 amp battery for 100 bucks when they go on sale. So uh, it's getting hard to even recommend this one. So anyway, I appreciate them sending me their product. You know, this battery case is okay, but it doesn't seem super great. And... Surprisingly short little screws makes me a little worried about the drop durability.